We've got Indiana comic book artist and author Coco Fox here. She is releasing her first graphic novel, Let's Go Coco, and she's going to be at the Indianapolis Children's Museum this week for a special signing. My friend, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, the book looks great. So exciting, first off and foremost. I love the message behind it because it's just something that can just enlighten and excite anyone. Thank you so much. You're it welcome. means so much to be able to tell it. Of course. Now, you're no stranger to the Indianapolis Children's Museum, so some of your work is already on display there. Yes, I was really lucky. I got to be part of the new Dinosphere mm -hmm. exhibit. Incredible. Not only did I get to be part of the artists that did individual works, but there's a whole area that you're allowed to trace my drawings of dinosaurs and make your own comics. Oh my gosh. Well, speaking of creating comics, let's dig into the one that you created here, the book. Yeah. Tell us about what made you want to put all of your work into a book that could almost be like a, I like to call it like a little presentation, a little individual presentation for people. Yes. Okay, you know, write what you know that yeah. whole concept, I put write what you need on my desk. And I thought, what did I need to read when I was in sixth grade? Mm -hmm. And it's this type of book. It's about understanding how to make friends after you've, one of your friends has moved away. And I think pretty much everybody has had that experience at yeah. one point of just how hard that is. And joining the basketball team in sixth grade helped me make other friends. And it's about finding yourself through friendship, for sure. Well, and, and again, enlightening and inspiring, because some people just don't know how to take that step to make friends. And it really is a simple one. It's just overwhelming, particularly yeah. at an age when you're trying to find yourself and your emotions. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of emotions in the book, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, when you're a tween, that's pretty much all that's happening is thinking about your friends, thinking about who you are. So true. Now, talk about what inspires you to create works like this. Okay, I was a huge fan of Roald Dahl, you know, who wrote Matilda yeah. and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh -huh. And um, I really loved the illustrations that went with that. They were bouncy and fun, done by uh, Quentin Blake, the illustrator. And I thought, could I make a graphic novel that has bouncy, fun, sparse illustrations? And that's what you I did it. To do. <laughs> Even the cover, it's so funny. Literally, you're ba the girl is bouncing on the cover. I know. It's the moment uh, where I get put in a game. It's, I jump in the air, and I was so lucky. The publishers at Harper Alley, uh, part of HarperCollins, they got to that page and they went, that's the cover. Oh my that's gosh. The whole thesis of the story is like the excitement that comes from trying something hard. Well, Hopefully everyone is excited about coming to meet you and to check out the book. That book signing is happening Saturday, September 21st, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The signing will be held in the Sunburst Atrium. And signing is free for museum members or general admission. Coco, thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations again. We can't wait to have you back for book number two. Thank you so much.